What's going on, guys? Bengal again here, coming back at you with another episode of Lions Franchise. Week two against the Dallas Cowboys. And the Cowboys are not bad offensively. They've got a really good offense, but they're going to have to contend with something special. Brian Burns will have his X Factor active for the entire game, supposedly against his Cowboys offense. That's one on one against Lyle Collins, who's a good tackle, don't get me wrong. But having that X Factor active all game hopefully will cause Dak Prescott and the Cowboys fits. They're very good on offense. Dak is obviously quite good. Zeke's a 99. Ooh, they got Jimmy Langford. Remember him out of Miami in the draft a few years ago? At receiver, C.D. Lamb's a beast. Amari Cooper, they brought in Kadarius Toney. At tight end, they got Foster Moreau. The offensive line is very, very, very talented. But even with Ryan Jensen... They have no Zach Martin because he he's on the Lions. I mean, you know, I don't even uh, have the capacity to make words right now for some reason. But um, yeah, we have Zach Martin. It's a big loss for the Cowboys. And Lel Collins going one-on-one -on -one with Brian Burns. Defense, not as good. Aging Demarcus Lawrence. They have Deo Odiengbo, Alfonso Stewart, Neville Gallimore, Brandon Fulton, Jelani Tavai. Still have Jalen Smith. Micah Parsons is not really developed too much in this. It's only an 83 overall, which is what he, you know, is what he was maybe at the start of the year or close to it. But he just hasn't really developed in this franchise whatsoever. In real life, he's like probably 85 overall or something close to it now. And they don't have Trayvon Diggs anymore. Jordan Lewis has superstar dev. Bossman Fats, Kelvin Joseph. They brought in Tyson Campbell. And then their safeties, Malik Hooker is still here. And Chuck Clark is a new addition. So the defense, not great. The offense is going to have a tough day. If you have multiple credit card balances each month and are only paying the minimums, barely making a dent in your credit card debt, it can be discouraging. But Upstart can help you pay off your existing debt quickly so you can feel you're finally getting ahead. The cool thing about Upstart is that they understand that you're more than just your credit score. So they'll look at all the factors that are combined in your loan application, like income, employment, and other info in that application. You'll find a smarter rate for your loan, and you can also check your rate without impacting your credit score whatsoever. And it only takes five minutes for loans between one and $50,000. So find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash bangle, or click the link in the description box below. It's the top line of the description, upstart.com slash bangle. And don't forget to use our URL to let them know that we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit income and certain other information provided in your loan application. Once again, upstart.com slash bangle. And let's see our reply to Camp Standout. That was with Braxton Turner. We got 10,000 XP last week. And he says, Coach Dangus says, you really impressed me every step of the way this year. I can tell you're on the verge of going from just showing flashes to shining bright in games. And Braxton Turner's like, Coach, I tried telling you. I'm ready for every challenge that comes my way. And mark my words, my hard work will pay off. Yet three plus combined sacks and tackles for loss with Braxton Turner to complete his breakout. Well, we had three tackles for loss with him last week and got him 10,000 XP. So we can just duplicate that. You know, we'll be, we'll be in a perfect spot. And tandem breakout for the offense. What's that all about? Oh, it's Raphael Wilkinson, the god. He says, man, Chris Godwin took our last game over and couldn't be stopped. Are you ready to see me go off like that today? Yeah, let's see what you got. Don't ask, show me. When opponents are watching film of our offense, make them terrified of how they're going to defend you both. Well, they should be. Add Richie Owens into that as well. Our receiving core is one of the best in the league. And Raphael Wilkinson's like, hey, I'm going to show out then. I'm going to put on a show. I'm going to be a beast. I'm going to have a huge day. Well, I'll make it a part of the offense with Paul Garrison. We'll tell him, hey, Get big 84, get big Wilk involved, and our offense should be unstoppable against his defense. I love it. I'm excited for it. And Rod God got 2,500 XP, and Wilkinson needs 150 today against the Cowboys, and we'll get bonus rewards for touchdowns as well. Sunday night primetime. This should be one to remember. We are in Dallas, and we will start by kicking off, of course, in our home unis as the Cowboys are the only team in the NFL that wears white at home. And they also wear it on the road. They just wear the same uniforms pretty much every game. Occasionally, you'll see them break out the Navy unis, but these are obviously their main ones. And Dak Prescott had a pretty big performance in week one. Only one touchdown did have a pick as well, but over 325 yards passing significantly, nearly 350. 
and he'll be tough today but if we can get brian burns going who should be in the zone the whole game and he is <laughs> look out for brian burns man he should be flying off the edge and that's already a pretty good start here i don't know what zeke's trying to do there but that was some witchcraft remember also three tackles for loss with turner and we'll get a bunch of xp for him so we need to prioritize that today but it looks like it's going to be a little bit tougher than i maybe thought brian burns needs to get like minimum two sacks today you have your uh, x factor active for the whole game you don't get it that's a problem check down wide open bully big hit those weren't really landing last week first game ever in the nfl of course, his second game now, and he, you know, maybe he learned. Second and two. Make a tackle for loss, Braxton. Run up the middle. And Zeke, I think, does get a yard. But it's third and two. We need Tyrone Wilbur to hit these gaps. That's what needs to happen. We're in man coverage against the tight end. Quick throw, and Cam Ford. His coverage was too good. And Dallas will try a long field goal. It is in the dome. But this is going down at what? The 44, making this a 54 yarder. This one looping, stays straight, but was short. McPherson didn't have the leg and will take over from the 44. Still 0 0 ball game. Looking to get Wilkinson going today. But of course, we're not going to force it. We're going to throw deep. Richie Owens, sideline, got it. Big tackle made by the Cowboys. Didn't know if Garrison would have the arm to get it in there. Tried to get the angle, and he zips it into Richie Owens. Big gain for Richie. And it looks like our offense should be able to have its way with this defense. Now it's only one play, but we've seen what they have out there. It's not great. Should be able to just destroy them. And need Rafael Wilkinson to have a big game. Second and goal. I'm only having two routes out here. It's Wilkinson or Godwin. Somebody's getting open, and it's Big Wilk. Saw him on the slant. Cornerback playing on the outside. Too easy to just dot it on the inside. Good ball from Garrison, but obviously great from Rafael Wilkinson to work open on the inside and make the catch. Where is that going? Uh, Uruwari has got to know that ball's in the air. We run left. Zeke looking for space. Just keep running the ball. Brian Burns really hasn't made an impact today. It's early. I get it, but... Get after the quarterback, please. The X-Factor active. Show me something. Quick throw, and... You're just getting the ball out too quickly. We're going to make that change in the second half to really account for that. We'll play it short. And we'll see what they're capable of. First and 10, they could run the ball very easily against this defense. They're going to opt not to. Dak should be under pressure. He's going to throw deep. Crossbody, Okuda. Got mossed. Oh, Jeff Okuda, dude. Kadarius Tony makes a nice catch. Can't be a touchdown. Can be seven all. Oh, trying to go deep. And that is just mega speed off the edge from Micah Parsons, and it'll be third and long. Third and 17. Crowd getting rowdy. We have a one-on-one -on -one shot. We're trusting Wilk. And he went up and got it. Couldn't come down with it, though. And we will punt. Let's play action. Dak thrown wide open to the tight end, Moreau. First down. Oh, multiple broken tackles by Zeke. Braxton Turner. As Kadarius Tony goes down with an injury. Braxton Turner is not getting three tackles for loss against this team. I mean, I just... I don't really see a way. They've been too good so far. And that is another completion for this offense. We're going to have Bully blitz off the edge here. Third and one. Make a tackle. It's up the middle. Zeke just changed directions. Rude. The way to get tackles for loss is going to be run 5-2 and eat up the blocks. That's going to be the way. And we lined up offsides. Quick throw. Touchdown anyway. Doesn't matter. Bowley got beat. And that penalty surely will be declined. It'll be a Dallas touchdown. And they're going to go up by a score here to end the first quarter. Are we getting too crazy here? Last play of the first quarter. Nope. That's wide open. Rod God. Good catch. Let's work off play action again. 
Linebackers did kind of come down to it. She's going to check down to Boyle there. Take our guaranteed yards. Third and seven. Need Rod God or somebody to win here. We're going for Owens. Great route. <laughs> Amazing route from Richie Owens. They're just not going to be able to cover everybody. That much is obvious. First and 10 working play action. A little check down. It's Nick Boyle again. They're just not accounting for Boyle. This could work here. Second and two. Getting creative. Touch pass to Rashad Reese. And he's got the outside. No, he doesn't. Oh, you got to be joking, dude. Third and two. Give me blocks. Swift. There we go. There we go. First down, DeAndre Swift. Looked ugly. Got the job done. Give him a chance. Wilkinson went up and got it. That's why we have that size. Bill w Wilk has his second touchdown of the game. Raphael Wilkinson is a beast. Tied up here in Arlington. That's ah, just wide open. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what we're supposed to do there against Zeke. He get, went out all slow. He kind of maxed his speed. And then he speed bursts, accelerated to the open field. And you know, obviously had a big game because of it. We're in the backfield. That ball came loose. Braxton Turner with the sack. They even call that a sack. Russ Clemens fell on the football. That'll be a TFL for Braxton Turner. He was in the backfield immediately. Looked like that was going to be a run to Zeke. Turner just shot in way too quickly. And it, I don't think Dak could ever even get it to him. Big play. Big turnover and a chance to get a lead here. Oh, man, I couldn't get the football away. That's on the ground. Garrison fumbles. Swift is on it. Oh, second and 21 after the sack. Perfect lob. Oh, my God. What a ball from Paul Garrison. Touch right over the linebackers. And it sets up third and one. Apparently, Braxton Turner already has two TFLs, by the way. Don't remember the first one, but I'm not complaining. And we just put too many routes in the same spot on the field. Garrison just slide and it's the first. Got to be a little bit less crazy. We got to calm down, start making the proper throws and reads and decisions. And uh, we'll just try to settle down a bit. Oh, jeez. Richie Owens, plenty of space. Has blockers and Owens has the speed. Touchdown. Richie Owens already has three touchdowns in this young season. He's just way too fast. That's the problem. You cannot cover all these receivers. You have Richie Owens just beating zone coverage, linebackers, you know, closest to him. It's game over. You cannot, you cannot account for all these receiving threats. There's just too many of them. Quick throw, Oruwariye just came back to the ball and got torched. CD Lamb's gonna have a TD. Turner doesn't have the speed. Switched on, went for the pick, obviously out of position. And when you do that, they lunge, they get out of the play, and it's an easy touchdown. And they strike back on one play. Sweet. Second and eight. Just gonna check down here. Needed a better block from Rashad Reese who tried to go for the catch. Third and inches has to be a guaranteed first down. Perfect. Reese with space. Easy, easy, easy first. Take a deep shot maybe. We're gonna do it, airing it out. Wilkinson, go up and get it. And the ball is thrown too deep. I don't mind taking a shot on first down, though. Second and 10. Reese underneath. We trust him so much after the catch. We can't really do a ton. Just under a minute and a half remaining in this first half. Safety coming up. Could expose him. They're blitzing. Quick throw. Owens, nice catch. Bullet through traffic, but that is right where it needed to be. Still running. But it worked out there. Let's call a timeout. Second and five. Let's go to the tight end, TJ Hawkinson. We have blocks. Hawkinson has wheels. And that is a touchdown for TJ Hawkinson. Great run after the catch. The Cowboys are just giving us way too much space. That's really what it is. Way too much space. And we've had so many opportunities where we just catch the ball and there's no one around us and we just run for the touchdown. Now, this will be interesting. What do the Cowboys want to do? Will they try and score before the end of the first half? It looks like they might. Bowley can't make the tackle on Zeke. Ah, man. He's been unstoppable. Both of these quarterbacks are putting up numbers. Brian Burns has played, you know, nearly no impact in this game so far. 
24 seconds remaining in this first half. Cowboys with a real chance to score. Quick throw underneath, and that is a catch by, I think, Kadarius Tony because he's back. Going one-on-one. -on -one. Uruwarie can't make the interception. Dak just gave you one, and Uruwarie said, no, I don't know how to catch. And now it's third and six. If they end up scoring when we should have a, uh, should have had a turnover, it's going to be really sad. But it's finally Brian Bird is getting the sack on Dak. We need multiple from him today. And uh, we're going to force Dallas to punt us the football back. We will have time for one offensive play for sure. Don't know about much more than that. And we'll try and return this a little bit. And yet, yeah, one play. Last play of the first half. We should fake them out with play action. They don't bite on it, though. I'm, I want Wilkinson, but he's going to throw it away. Four touchdowns still in the first half for Paul Garrison. Not a bad first half for this Lions team. Need to be better defensively. We knew the offense would be good, but they've been a little bit too good. Turner apparently one tackle for loss away from meeting his goal. Really close to getting that done. And, uh, I mean, we'll, we'll continue to try and throw it deep. But the game plan now becomes defending the run. Ezekiel's has been way too good. We'll get the football to start the second half. Let's extend this lead. Swift with space. Good blocks. Swift makes a man completely fall down. He ran right through him. Same type of concept. Similar result. Second and one. Everyone knows I'm taking a shot off play action. Nope. Just Rashad Reese quickly. You're gonna play it safe. First and ten. Over the middle, and that is Rod God. Really didn't want to lead that into the uh, defender there. Got the ball out in the nick of time. And it's first and ten. Might go to the end zone here. Kind of depends. I think we can. Crossing the safety. Wilkinson has a step and he's got a touchdown. Rafael Wilkinson finds the end zone for a third time. And this one, he used a lot more of his speed. Ran past the corner. Crossed the face of the safety. And the ball obviously dropped into a perfect spot for the touchdown. And I'm not sure how many yards Rafael Wilkinson has, but he's certainly got a, you know, a number of touchdowns already. How is Zeke in the, in the zone? He wasn't in the zone last play, I swear. Now he's back in it. Dak gonna run. Trying to make a play with Turner, but Dak wisely slides. Third and five. I'd love to get Dak when he's trying to scramble. That'd be big. But it's C.D. Lamb over the middle. Big hit, Derek Davidson, but Lamb's got the first. Just eat up a block. Let Turner shoot a gap, please. With a tight end in motion. And of course, lined up offside, trying to make the play. Uh, just a fraction of a second too early. Dak under pressure and Burns got to him. I don't even know if Dak ever saw Brian Burns, but second sack of the game. That's what I was looking for from Brian Burns. He hasn't really been a menace on a lot of plays. But does have two sacks. And we haven't really had a ton of pressure this game either. So I think that's a pretty good performance. Second and 12. Would love for Dak to just run. He's throwing right where I should have been. And that is a, a big gain. It's funny. I'm just more concerned with this TFL than actually, you know, uh, winning the game, it seems. Turner! That's got to be it. That's got to be the third tackle for loss. It's got to be. Braxton Turner shot the gap, made an awesome play, and Dallas will punt. I wouldn't from this spot, fourth and two from the 48, down by two touchdowns pretty late in the game. I get that there's time left, but you don't trust your offense to get two yards? Wilkinson open enough? Yeah, he is. Good ball from Garrison. Five touchdowns from Paul Garrison in this game. Wilkinson only at 97 yards. Good performance, no question, but we need 150. So we're going to have to continue to work on that, and it's not going to help when Garrison is missing throws. Garrison in the zone, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Cannot afford to miss throws. We're going to try and confuse that free safety. Playing center field over the top, and Godwin just has space. We're going to get it to him. Rod God, beautiful. This air raid attack working perfectly. 
Play action under pressure. Garrison trying to get out. Throwing on the run. Finding Rafael Wilkinson. And Wilkinson fighting for the end zone. will be a yard short. No. Come on, baby. Rafael, please. First and goal. Quarterback draw. Garrison got it. Vanilovic. Quarterback rushing touchdown for Paul Garrison. Merch link in the description. I am going to bring out jerseys pretty soon. Of course, I can't have any team branding, but they'll be the right color with the name and the number. So I'm super excited about that, actually. I think we're going to have Paul Garrison, Rashad Reese, Rafael Wilkinson, maybe Richie Owens. All right, I can see that. And then defensively, I'm thinking... Russ Clemens, Cameron Ford, maybe Braxton Turner, Dorian Tompkins. I mean, should we just do all the creative players on defense and offense? That could be fun. Anyone can get just whatever they want. Up 42-21 over Dallas right now. They're going to try a screen. BJ got pancaked. Why did it not switch me on to Dorian Tompkins? Yeah, that's where BJ Dickerson will kind of let us down is he will get pancaked by these offensive linemen. But it's second and four. Defense has played pretty well. Their defense just hasn't been able to uh, be any match for us. And that's going to be another screen attempt. This one, it's a dirt. And down goes Prescott. It's Dorian Tompkins with his first sack of the year. Fourth and nine. Dallas, of course, with no position other than to go for this. Let's make a play on fourth and nine. Do not let them get this. Dak throwing downfield, and Okuna takes it away. Interception, Dak going for Tony. And finally, one of our DBs gets a pick. How many yards does Rafael Wilkinson need? That's the big wonder right now. Good run from Swift. I think we're going to go back to the run, though. Third and two. You just have to be faster. There's no way that shouldn't be a first down. I think they're going to give it to us. That's way too close. Working off play action. Going to need a lot of time to make this throw happen. And we're airing it down the field. Wilkinson! <laughs> of course can't make the catch. Ended up being double coverage. We'll take our shots, though. We have the size. Safety's coming up. You are asking for it. You are asking for it. Somebody's going to be wide open here. Don't know who yet, but somebody will be wide open. They're blitzing. It's going to be TJ Hawkinson. Just a safe throw. Get it right to Hawk. Play action. Linebackers definitely biting on it this time. Don't really see too many enticing receivers to throw to, though. And that's going to be an interception, actually. Garrison trying to get it to Godwin underneath. He'll make the tackle as well. Palanoa Hufunga just <laughs> right in there to make the pick. Damn. Yeah, football came out too late. It's not going to put Dallas back in the game, probably, but that's an interception that can't happen. We just didn't run with that. And down goes Prescott again. It's Brian Burns for the third time. All right. You know what? He's turning up down the stretch. I mean, he better be. He's in the zone the entire game. You better get three sacks. Third and 12 for Prescott and the Cowboys. Four down territory, obviously. Quick throw. And that one's going to be completed on a World Warrior. Only trying to save the tackle. And he does push CD Lamb out of bounds. How are we allowing these? I'm taking this right tackle. Oh, man. Throw over the middle. Davidson, big hit. That's a first down. Yeah, I mean, left the space where he needed to be. Is kind of the reason why that happened. Trying to get Brian Birds an easier matchup. Didn't happen. They're going to throw it. Go into the end zone. Dude, what are you looking at? Roman Bowley. The rookie free safety out of Clemson was more content to just watch the play happen than do anything about it. What is this? What is this? I know he's tasked cover, uh, covering two receivers, but he's looking at the ball the entire way. You see it in the air. He just doesn't react. That's insane. Onside attempt for Dallas. And Richie Owens is there for the recovery. He goes down. And do we still need yards to Rafael Wilkinson, I wonder? Wilkinson nine yards away. So we do need nine yards. Should be pretty accomplishable. We'll work it underneath and not throw an interception this time. Although that could have been better. 
Wilkinson, there's the catch. And that should be it. 150 plus for Wilkinson. And that goal should be accomplished. Dallas has spent their final timeout. First down will end the game. And here it is. Swift! Run him over. That is game over. Detroit's going to hold on in Dallas despite the turnover by Garrison. And that is your ball game. 42-28 final here in Arlington. The Cowboys go down to 0-2. And the Lions improve to 2-0. Good start to the season, although we've obviously looked less than perfect. Our offense has gotten it done. Done a good job. Back-to-back -back primetime games. We allowed four touchdowns to Dak Prescott. But, of course, both quarterbacks were in the zone tonight. Big game from Paul Garrison. Did have the annoying pick at the end. DeAndre Swift was pretty good. 16 for 78. No TDs, though. Obviously, a lot have happened uh, through the air. 10 for 152 for Rafael Wilkinson. Three touchdowns. Richie Owens over 110 yards. Easily had a touchdown as well. Rod got only three for 55 and a touchdown for TJ Hawkinson. And then defensively, Braxton Turner only had two tackles for loss, but they said three. He did have a sack. So that should be three combined. Burns with three sacks. Big game from him. And then, of course, the interception for Okuda. Yeah, that's right. Braxton Turner had the forced fumble on the sack and the fumble recovery for Clemens. Upgrades for, well, Mac Wilson doesn't really matter. Uh, upgrades for Tyrone Wilbur. We'll have the CPU handle the rest. Where, where does Wilbur need to improve? I'd like the block shedding to be in the 80s. I'd like coverage to be in the 70s. Let's just do field general and hopefully get both of those. Block shedding plus coverage. Block shedding plus one. Change of direction plus one could be big. And then man and zone both go up one. Tackle goes up one too. Tyrone Wilbur starting to look pretty good. All right, let's see the responses here. We have the camp breakout. Braxton Turner says it's been quite a journey from camp to preseason to now. Uh, this is your second year. Why are you acting like you're a rookie? He says this is only the beginning. And Coach Deng is blown away. Not like, you know, I was blown away with BJ Dickerson, but he's blown away about how good Braxton Turner's been so far. He gets another 10,000 XP, and he's been upgraded to superstar development. Braxton Turner, who can stop this man? Superstar dev for Turner. Now we got we to check him out, obviously. He's probably going to be an upgrade player, surely now. There he is. Braxton Turner is becoming a superstar in front of our very eyes, only 23 years old, now has superstar development. I think we drafted him with normal. People said L in the chat. Are you saying L anymore? Idiot. Are you? What do we even upgrade here? Do run stopper again. Hopefully get block shed. It's super important. Get plus one to a lot of different things. He's up to an 86 overall, 87 with the temporary boosts. And that is looking quite nice. What about for Raphael Wilkinson? Tandem breakout. Rod God got some XP. Wilkinson got some XP. And he's like, hey, I did what I said I was going to do. And he got three touchdowns. Over 150 yards receiving, if only barely. He did do it. And he's had some way bigger games. So he's kind of like a limited, I should say. And he still had over 150 yards. So Wilkinson, I mean, we don't need these things. Plus five catching in traffic and release. All right. <laughs> he, dude, he has 99 of those things. I swear. Offensive breakout will be a thing next week. We are 2-0. First divisional game of the year will be next week. But Rafael Wilkinson, man, we didn't need those upgrades. He's got true 99 catching traffic at 99 release now. All right. Cool. <laughs> I mean, he's sick. But can we see this route running go up a bit? Spectacular catch, please. But defense starting to look a little bit better with Braxton Turner at that superstar dev. Awesome week for Brian Burns. But that'll do it for this episode, guys. Justin Acosta missed this last game. They'll be ready to go against the Vikings. And I'll see you guys for that game. Take it easy. Taking it back to the house, defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud, speed burst good.